the introduction. So um, today I will talk about um, a specific circuit that is really useful for the technology I concentrate on, which is called molecular free coupling nanocomputing. So um, let's start uh, this journey. So uh, in this, in the next 10 minutes, we will uh, uh, start from a little bit of introduction on the technology, since many of you may not be familiar on this technology. Then we will try to understand which is the problem we address in this work and which is the state of the art on that. After that, we will talk about the methodology that we use to um, address the problem and the results that we obtain, to then conclude with the main um, takeaways. So, let's start from the introduction. The molecular free coupling nanocomputing uh, is a technology based uh, on um, molecules that interact uh, um, between uh, uh, electric electrostatic interaction. So here we can see um, two um, two. Wait, it's going okay. Wait, okay. So here we can see two uh, molecules uh, that are uh, just at pause, one nearby the other, and their um, simplified representation. So this is a 3D schematic representation, and here we can see a schematic top view. And in this technology, what happens is that uh, uh, since uh, these molecules are charged, when they are placed one nearby the other, the charges tend to maximize the distance in uh, uh, this square cell. And here, the um, full dot represents the um, uh, charge uh, occupation. And depending on the occupation of the cell, we can encode uh, binary information. So here, the, uh, this diagonal encodes a logic 0, and the upper diagonal encodes a logic 1. And we can also, by applying specific electric fields, we can uh, modify um, force the uh, information to assume a specific value, and here we can see the null state that is uh, erasing the uh, logic information. Here we can see the same molecule with the um, highlighting the three dots where the charge uh, can be can be placed. The charge can, oc can occupy, and by applying these electric fields. Here, switching field and clock field, we can force the charge to occupy one place or another of the molecule, building so the, um, um, the logic information of the cell. If we uh, extend this mechanism with uh, more cells, one nearby the other, we can propagate information. So here we can see a sort of zigzag uh, place, displacement of the charges. And in this way, we can start starting from a fixed information, we can propagate it through a wire and have it at the end of the, of the, of the, of the, um, of the circuit. And we can also help this propagation by dividing the circuit in different zones and activated them sequently, sequ sequentially, so we can drive forward the information and so decide also where the information may go. Here we can see that other than propagating information, we can also elaborate it. So here is shown a majority voter, which is one basic, um, one fundamental um, gate for this technology because uh, let us implement both AND and OR gates and here we see two versions of the double of the inversion gate a single branch inverter and a double branch inverter that can or cannot work depending on the molecule we use to implement this technology so why is important to uh, study this technology and why this research um, is useful basically the uh, advantages that this technology offers are uh, really low power dissipation, deriving from the absence of currents during the propagation and elaboration of information. Then we can reach really high frequency um, operating fr uh, operations because um, the limits is the vibrational frequency of the molecule, so we can reach really high frequency. The mechanisms, the, the, the columbic interaction that uh, uh, lay down on this technology can work also at room temperature. And also we can avoid the problem of the top-down approach of the lithography because this technology is suitable for bottom-up approach uh, with self-assembled techniques. There are still a lot of uh, challenges to address. First of all, uh, 
we need to improve the technology, the techniques that we have to build nanopattern structures that can host our devices. Still, we, ha we, we, we must improve the molecules that we have in our, um, in our suit for uh, address different um, goal of, um, of this technology. There are no techniques at, um, today, there are still no techniques that um, are able to transduce the charge into a readable information like a, like a current or a voltage to uh, integrate the circuit, the technology with standard te technologies like CMOS and the main uh, challenges that we address today derives from the fact that this technology is basically in plane, so we cannot exploit the third dimension, and this is quite a challenge. So, which is the problem? The problem is that for an in plane technology, crossing information is not easy because we cannot use vias, so we must cross information in plane without disrupting it. So, there are some um, solution proposed from the, from the literature. Here is an example that basically exploit the rotation, 45 degree rotation of one of the two uh, crossing lines, but this is really difficult to do because we need a precise manipulation of the molecules at the nanometric level, nanometric precision, and it's really difficult. So what we proposed is a solution that doesn't require any um, structural manipulation, so we have just two lines that cross, and the principle behind this working mechanism is that when information are equal on the two branches, A and B, here is shown the case with zero, zero and zero, all the cells um, occupy, uh, assume the same logic state. So as everything easy. When the two information are different, what happens is that uh, the, when the propagation reaches the common cell in the center, the superposition effect of the electric fields that drives the information balance, so the uh, effect is having zero voltage, the central cell doesn't know what to do, so it doesn't uh, occupy any, doesn't assume any logic states, so the driving signals tend to move through, um, toward this diagonal, and a single diagonal we have seen a few slides ago is basically, basically an inversion. So we have that this one invert to a zero and this zero invert to a one. So basically it's like we have propagated this zero from top to bottom and the one from left to right. But there is still some um, work to do because uh, this working mechanism lay on two uh, really delicate assumptions. First of all, the, central, the, the superposition effect of on the central cell must uh, really balance to zero because even a small variation, a small um, logic, uh, a small electric field may let the cell assume a logic state and so this mechanism doesn't work anymore. And also the single branch inversion must work and I said it's not common for every molecule. So what we do in this work is to simulate this device in different conditions using de different molecular electrostatics to understand which are the limits or the strength of each molecule, each characteristics to uh, actually um, making this circuit to work. So to address this uh, um, problem, we use uh, a methodology called Mosquito, which is a three-step methodology that uh, let us, starting from ab initio calculation, let us uh, model molecules as uh, they were electronic devices. So we can define new figure merits, merits like uh, electric field, voltages, here the input voltages, aggregated charges, and by relating this new figure of merits, we can extract uh, these kind of curves that uh, uh, describe the behavior, the electric electrical behavior of a molecule, and then we use Sherpa, which is a tool that we develop at, uh, here in Politecnico, which is also available online on GitHub. To um, we use this tool to uh, study the propagation of the information uh, along um, in, in, the, in, ver in various circuits. What we do is to test these circuits with this uh, specific uh, region uh, subdivision to drive information, so starting from the input lines toward the center and then toward the uh, output lines. We um, 
simulate these circuits with, implemented with two kinds of molecules, neutral molecules and zwitterionic molecules. Here is shown the uh, electrical characterization of these molecules, so we can see how the charge is um, on the molecule is um, um, is on the molecule depending on the voltages uh, on the voltage applied and here are the equations that describe this behavior where w is a parameter that um, describes the slope of these curves and this methodology using these uh, synthesized uh, characteristics let us uh, reduce the impact of other uh, characteristics, of characteristics of the molecules that can uh, influence the behavior, like geometry, uh, the geometry occupation of the molecule. So we can fix the geometry and move and change just the electrostatics of the molecule. So let's move to results. The first um, implementation is used. Uh, we 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 show here is um, with neutral molecules. On the right, we can see the output of of a Sherpa simulation, and we can see the um, electrostatic map potential of the um, equilibrium charge distribution, and we can and white charges are uh, positive. White dot are I white dot are positive charges, and black dot represents negative charges, and we can see here that all the four configurations with both equal inputs and different inputs propagate information correctly. And not only that, we also try to modify the characteristics to see how stable is this uh, circuit to work. So we try to uh, shift the, the electrostatic behavior or mm, change the slope. And we can see that even the, the, the circuit still works with uh, shift uh, up to 30 negative or positive uh, millivolt milli, milli uh, in voltages and uh, the slope may vary between 9 and 12. Here the example, the simulation is shown for W equal to 10. Then uh, the problem with this or is perfect, everything works. Uh, the problem is that in literature there are no uh, neutral molecule proposed for this technology. So it's basically a theoretical study to validate um, the, the working mechanism. So we try to use, to verify if with the zwitterionic molecules the system still works. And in this case, we can see that uh, when the inputs A and B encodes different logics, the output doesn't work correctly. So it's always the top uh, input that propagates on both the outputs. So this is not good. To try trying to um, solve this problem and having a uh, working circuit even for zwitter ionic molecules, we try to uh, understand which is the behavior that we need for the molecules to really making this circuit work. So we um, focus on which are the requirements that we want. First of all, when A is equal to B, everything works for both neutral and zwitter ionic molecules, so nothing has to change. On the contrary, when the input A and B are different, we must force the central cell not to assume any input voltages because obviously in real world there are some differences. The, cancel, the, the, the two inputs doesn't cancel perfectly. And also we must just we, we must assume that uh, we must force the, the working of the single branch inversion. So we propose this uh, kind of uh, characteristics that are found in literature in uh, molecules like, like the Katrin. And in these characteristics, we see that for small voltages, like we are in this case when two inputs are opposites and the, the superposition effect make the uh, voltages in the, in the middle to cancel, still the, set, the charge stays at zero, doesn't move. So for small voltages, the cell doesn't assume any logic states with this kind of molecule. So we try to simulate the same circuits, just changing these two molecules in the middle and using this kind of characteristics without, without touching anything else. Here are the simulation uh, obtained with Sherpas for both neutral and zwitterionic molecules. The top line, the top uh, images represent the first propagation step and the second images represent the second propagation step. And we can see in this case for both neutral and zwitterionic molecules that in all the four configurations 
the propagation uh, occur correctly even for uh, different inputs uh, when A and B encode different logics. So uh, to conclude we um, propose a solution, practical solution to uh, cross information in 2D technology which is not easy because uh, informa information can collide we, also, we, we tested with neutral molecules and zwitterionic molecules that are the main uh, kind of molecule that we can find in literature and uh, uh, we find which are the requirements that the crosswire uh, needs to, to work uh, we study, we propose ad hoc models uh, for molecules to fulfill the, the, the requirements that we need for the circuit to work uh, and, and we demonstrate in this, in, this, in this way, we demonstrate that combining uh, different characteristics, molecules with different characteristics, we can uh, obtain um, more specific, we can change the behavior of a circuit. This opens the way to uh, infinite possibilities because if we find different electrostatics characteristics for molecules we can obtain basically what we want, any kind of uh, logic um, function. And also we demonstrate again that uh, simulation are a good, uh, a good strategy to um, know we, what we can expect for a measurement for a circuit before spending money to build actual experiments, to fabricate uh, actual experiments. So simulation are good, a powerful uh, method to um, study what we expect. So before concluding, I would like to thank also my colleagues of my group, especially Yuri Ardesi, Maria Grazia Graziano and Gianluca Piccilini that co-authors this work with me. So thank you for your attention.